you, uh, everyone, for being here today. Uh, it's a great honor uh, for me to be uh, here as your co-conference uh, co co-chair and uh, keynote speaker. Uh, I'd like to start by sharing a little bit about my journey um, because it hasn't always been a straight path. So I was trained to be a simultaneous interpreter. Uh, so as you can see, at this conference, we don't have a human interpreter. Um, as uh, people always said, um, you, if you can't feed them, join them. Yeah, so um, it's a, um, it's a, like job that all, are, um, almost being uh, replaced by AI. And uh, um, thanks to a chance of me working on a banking software project, I got drawn to technology and I'm super um, attracted to the idea of open source because you, uh, people get to collaborate and do on each other's work. So um, this is a photo of a, a developer meetup I hosted about six years ago. As you can see um, in that photo, there aren't too many girls, but um, I'm super glad that fast forward to, to today, uh, we are seeing more girls' participation also in the uh, world of technology and open source. Um, yeah. So I would like to start my uh, keynote with a demo. So this is a, a single command that I ran, and uh, uh, these are uh, docs that you can refer to uh, because uh, I don't believe in demo docs. So um, it's a pre-recorded one. Yeah. So this is a command that I, I've shown. Um, so it will. So in this Docker image, there is a large language model is Llama three AB. And then there is a embedding model, uh, nomic. So um, this uh, large language model is 5.7 uh, gigabytes, and the embedding model is about 200 megabytes. And also inside the image, we have a OpenAI compatible API server that's written in Rust and uh, compiled into WebAssembly. So because it's a WebAssembly file, it's fully cross uh, portable across. GPUs and CPUs. So, um, yeah. Uh, later, I will. Uh, so, it also started on uh, a localhost 8080 port, um, portal that I can uh, ask the large language model a question. Um, so, I will explain later why uh, we think by uh, doing this way is a better way because uh, we ha we think tight coupling of your AI app together with your large language model uh, is a better approach to do your AI app. So the question I ask is which uh, figure is greater? Is 9.11 or 9.9? .9? So because um, this is run on a um, Mac M1 chip, a 16 gigabyte memory uh, machine. So, uh, and also because I didn't put in CUDA or driver, so it um, only used the Mac CPU and not uh, GPU. So, uh, and also you need to load the entire model into the memory. So why, that's why the first response can be kind of slow. So let's see if um, Lama 3AB can answer this question correctly. Yeah, yeah so the answer is correct. 9.9 .9 is greater than 9.11. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, there, these are some key features of the approach that I used just now. So it's a tightly coupled large language model and uh, AI app. So it has the uh, um, matching prompt, quantization, and runtime. Uh, runtime here, I mean, uh, things like uh, Lama CPP. So that uh, by doing it this way, uh, the container app would always work, uh, even though uh, the uh, LLM can get updated or the from template can, can change, your AI app all, always works. 
despite of the uh, upgrade cycles. And it's quite lightweight compared to um, other con uh, weights. It's uh, five gigabytes opposed to 10 gigabytes high to jack uh, because uh, it used uh, WebAssembly runtime. And also it's very portable. So uh, it can, as I mentioned, it's across CPU and GPUs and different operating systems. And um, you can develop your AI app on your Mac and then deploy it on NVIDIA. It totally works. And also it uh, embeds into these different uh, language apps and work with uh, uh, seamlessly with uh, the Kubernetes ecosystem tools. So uh, these are the uh, different infra that it supports. Uh, and also uh, different runtime back backend and then AI apps around it. Uh, these are several real world use cases for the WebAssembly runtime. Um, like uh, GaiaNet is one of our big users. So they build their tech stack on top of WebMed runtime. And right now there are already about uh, 30K users that ha has already uh, installed um, the tech stack that build on top of Wasm Edge and run a large language model, their own personal uh, large language model with their personal knowledge on their own uh, devices like Mac or some uh, other devices. Um, and uh, the second one is uh, AI operation system. An open interpreter is like an open source version of a code interpreter by OpenAI. So it's um, uh, on GitHub, it has so many stars. And um, uh, it also used uh, word match. And um, the, the other use cases, uh, like for example, the education uh, use case, uh, UC Berkeley would use uh, this um, tech stack as a teaching assistant. And also get, uh, in terms of gaming. So um, Cost Coast AI uh, is also an open source uh, project. It used Wasm to run AI models uh, to enhance their NPC experience to the users. And um, yeah, I think I already mentioned some of the uh, features just now. So it's, uh, it, it, after you compile your AI app, like your API server into um, Wasm, it's a single cross-platform binary and uh, you can um, compile and test your app on your Mac and then deploy it to NVIDIA or some other GPUs or AI chip. And uh, it can be moved around and deployed to new hardware by uh, different uh, Kubernetes tools. And uh, it can be packed into Docker image and the size is quite small. So yeah, uh, if you want to check out the documentation, you can always visit our um, GitHub. So these are a, a few links that you can um, check out. And um, um, I would like to also mention the AI ecosystem landscape uh, made by FinCF. So as you can see, we are, uh, all the major runtime is here uh, in the category of uh, much machine learning serving. So um, I think these are all very good open source tools that you can utilize in the ecosystem. And um, uh, here we would like to have your input as well. So um, this is a survey uh, co-conducted by CNCF and the LF uh, research. So um, we would like to know how your company uses Gen AI tools. And uh, we need to hear your voice to understand the real challenge and opportunities uh, in deploying Gen AI in the cloud. I, we still think your input matters. Yeah, um, that's uh, uh, the calling for contributors. Um, so in LFX mentorship, uh, you can always find different tasks, uh, not only a task from what magic, but also from other um, open source project. Um, and also, oh, or you can uh, look at our GitHub repo and uh, check out the uh, looking for help uh, tag to uh, see if um, there's anything you can add on to. Yeah, I think that would be pretty much all of my talk. And you can always find me on 
uh, also on LinkedIn and GitHub or Twitter. And these are a few uh, resources you can check out. So um, on YouTube, we would release every month our uh, monthly uh, community meeting. Uh, so you can uh, take a look. And um, uh, yeah, uh, we would like to hear your thoughts on uh, everything we have been talking about. So if you are uh, interested, you can always come to the Solution Showcase. Uh, room to talk to us. We have a sponsor booth there. So it's a uh, second stage. Second stage is a company behind WordMed. Thank you so much.